So one of the questions I get most frequently is, why don't the feet of your ducks and geese freeze? Why don't they have frostbite? I mean, the question kind of makes sense, right? Like, I think a lot of people understand why the ducks and geese aren't getting cold when they're walking around around their body. I mean, they're covered in feathers, and underneath those outer feathers is a very thick layer of down, which basically means they have their own version of a Canada goose coat that they're walking around with at all times. In fact, that's why it's called a Canada goose coat. But when you look at our ducks and geese as they walk around on the snow and ice here on our Vermont farm, you'll notice that they're completely naked, and they walk around, and they do just fine. And I've now experienced four winters of keeping ducks and or geese over the winter months here in northern Vermont, and I have never ever ever seen a duck or goose come down with frostbite on their feet, or really anywhere else on their body. So I feel like it's a very legitimate question, and I want to try to answer in today's video. But first, I gotta... RELEASE THE FLACKING! So I mean, as you can probably see there, right? As they came outside, they made a beeline right in for the little hut that I have. And it's because they don't like to be on the snow and ice. In fact, you saw a couple of them sit down on their feet, and that's because they were trying to keep them warm, which will ultimately get to the answer that you were seeking in this video. But first, let's let out the geese. Good morning, Hoop Coop. How's everything going for everybody today? How's it going, chickens? How are you doing, geese? So this is our nice, luxurious Hoop Coop. It's built pretty much like a greenhouse, so it keeps everything much warmer in here. Like I would say the temperature, it's usually about 15, 20 degrees warmer than the air temperature outside. So they're gonna definitely be happy walking on the ground in here because it's a mixture of composting straw and wood chips mixed with their manure. And so actually that composting action even keeps it warmer too. So nobody's gonna have a problem walking around in here. The real issues come when you let them all outside. Oh, the geese might not want to even come out today. You know, I'm gonna actually let them do what they want because they've got a nice cozy place in there. I might as well let them use it. You know, one of the conclusions I'm actually starting to come to is that uh, hoop coops like the one I have behind me here, they're actually a far superior way to house your birds if you live in a very cold northern climate like the one we're in. Like if you're in Florida or something, you don't need to build this. But up here where we have this long, cold northern winter, I think it actually kind of makes sense. So my plan is to actually build one that's about twice the size of this to house all of my birds for next winter. The barn cats definitely don't like to put their paws on the cold icy snow. That's why you see them taking cover underneath places like this or just spending most of their time in general in the barn. So as you can see right behind me here, the ducks have finally come out to take their morning swim. For them, it's a little bit of work to like muster up the energy to get out of the duck house or the shelters that I have set up around here and run out into the open where they can go swimming. You know, you can see them, right? And they're running out there on the snow and yes, they're stopping every once in a while to looks like warm up their feet, but for the most part, they're out there running and you'd think with very little fat in their feet or any sort of fur or feather covering, that exposed tissue, the blood flow would start to slow down and they would start to like have like neuropathy or, or like death of the cells in their feet and they'd ultimately get frostbite and have to lose their feet. And if you look out in the wild or even on a farm like ours, you see none of the ducks or geese wearing booties. In fact, if you go to the internet to start looking for duck and goose booties, you're gonna find something very different than what you were expecting. So how do they do it, might you ask? How do they keep their feet from freezing? Well, it gets down to a little bit of simple science. They're pearly. There's something very special that happens with the legs of ducks and geese where they actually have, I think what's known as an arterial blood exchange. The blood from their feet goes back up into their body and the blood from their body goes back down to their feet. You know, so they're constantly exchanging the cold blood in their feet for the warm blood in their bodies. And that ongoing and constant blood exchange is what keeps their feet from freezing, it's what keeps their feet from getting frostbite. And it's very different than say how us humans have with our fingers and toes and other extremities that are most susceptible to frostbite. And so that's why our ducks and geese adapt really well to the cold, cold weather. And so you can really say that ducks and geese are actually built for the cold. You know, people often wonder, well, if they're built for the cold, why do they always fly south in the winter? And the reason is they're looking for open bodies of water and sources of food. You know, in a climate like ours, right, 
The ponds and lakes, like our pond right behind me here, it's frozen solid from now until probably early May. And so because ducks and geese need water to live and eat, and they need food sources to eat and live, it becomes really important to find those things. If you can provide them with sources of food and water, they're gonna be fine, which is essentially what we do here on our farm. You know, the cold hardy nature of ducks and geese is actually one of the reasons why I picked them as a breed of animal to raise here on our farm in Vermont. You know, gee golly, did you look at that? They're already starting to get a layer of ice. I poured this water about 20 minutes ago. And even right here, right, you saw the ducks swimming in this pool. That was about five minutes ago. They're already starting to get a little slush on the top. Some of the most work I do here on the farm is making sure that they have fresh water because that's actually the most important thing for their health. Now some viewers might ask, if I really care about my birds, why don't I actually just get them a heater? And it's a very good question, but a heater could be super dangerous for your ducks, geese, and chickens. You know, because they have this constant exchange of various temperature blood in their body and their feet, if you rapidly change the temperature that the birds are exposed to, you can create all sorts of blood issues and stroke issues and I think even hemorrhaging by quickly taking them from the warm to the cold so for example I would never ever take one of our geese or ducks right now in the temperatures that we have where it's yeah negative seven degrees Fahrenheit and bring that bird inside or keep that bird inside for a couple of days like say if it was sick and then immediately bring it outside doing that rapid shift of temperature could kill the bird in fact that rapid shifting of temperature is part of why the geese haven't even come out yet and that's why I've left the door open so that the temperature between the hoop house and the exterior evens out a little bit and they can get a little more comfortable with coming outside if you set up a heater in your coop though you run the risk of making the air temperature so warm in there that if say the heater breaks down in the middle of the night or a bird suddenly gets out by accident you could kill your bird and then the other really important thing to think about is too you know when you have coops right you have lots of straw and bedding that's very flammable and heaters tend to create fires and so your chances of creating roast duck are rather high now now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but earlier this morning, I strapped a little tiny camera on the necks of one of my ducks. He's an all black Cayuga Drake that I've named Serious Quack. And I'm really curious to see what the footage on the camera that he has looks like. So let's go check it out. The serious. I see you in there. I see you wearing that camera. I see it on you. Can I get that camera back, please? Say hi to Serious Quack, everybody. And see, you can see his little tiny camera mounted right there. And actually, as I'm holding him, this is probably a good opportunity to show you guys a couple of things. Number one, you'll notice his outer feathers, they're actually frozen now and covered in frost. That's because he was taking a swim a little bit earlier, but because ducks have waterproof feathers, his body temperature is actually nice and warm. And these outer feathers will dissolve off with the heat from his body, as well as the heat from the sun. You know, the other thing I just wanted to show you too, like if you look up close at his foot, pretty cool design, you know, the webbing is a set of skin. He's got a nail on his there. He's got a back nail on there as well. And particularly with the Cayuga, it's got a very interesting pattern to it as well. And you can actually see him flex it occasionally. That's how he's pumping the blood from the lower extremity back into his body and vice versa. All right, Sirius, let's get your camera off here. And we're gonna see what adventures you've been up to, my buddy. <laughs>
side note is this video. I originally recorded the first like third of this video and I forgot to turn the microphone on for my camera so there was absolutely zero audio. And Jeannie Barncat here was so well behaved and she was like the perfect parrot cat and sidekick for the introduction of the video. But unfortunately there was no audio. But when it came time to record the video again she just jumped right up on my shoulder when I called for her. It was pretty amazing. You are becoming an incredible little actress there sweetheart. I'm very proud of you. I'll see you guys in that next video. Thanks for watching.